Once upon a town in the Midwest heart with Midwest values and Midwest smarts, there lived a little chair named Clarity. Like most little chairs, Clarity loved playing video games and eating scrambled bunny eggs with his dear mama. But his dear mama had gotten very sick. In fact, she could barely muster the strength to hit a single letter C on her brand new Regal typewriting machine. Dr. Mr. Doctorson, the township doctor, sadly explained mama had a severe case of not comfortable at all. What was a chair to do? Clarity wasn't one for sitting around and pondering. He packed his things and departed for a hero's journey. Clarity came up with a plan. He would go to the big city, become the greatest chair ever, and save Mama from not comfortable at all. It was time for Clarity to hunger down. Now to become the greatest chair ever, he was gonna need a little help. A fighter's strength, an artist's eye, a nurturer's heart. At first, Clarity was not very good at all, and sometimes a little uncomfortable. Yes, he had the grace of a goofy little donkey but he also had the heart of a Kentucky Redbone Coon Dog, who have the biggest hearts in all the animal kingdom, outside the giant hard whale, of course. And so Clarity grew, and he learned, and he created great art. And he cared for all creatures. And he beat even the toughest fighters. Clarity had done good. Now it was time to go back home, for dear mama had gotten much more not comfortable at all. Clarity returned as a new chair, a better chair, the best chair. Mama did not understand at first. She had always taken care of Clarity. But Clarity stood tall and said, in his new big chair voice, Now it's my turn to take care of you, Mama. And he did. He saved her, cured instantly. Alas, she was comfortable again. And they danced, and they laughed, and a little chair named Clarity was glad to be home again. The end. <laughs>